Next up, Libra. Libra, welcome to my channel. I'm Pam. This is Pam Star Oracle. Hopefully, I can give you some of my wisdom today. Um, your uh, core representation as Libra is peace, love, and harmony. You are friendly, social, and diplomatic. You are extremely romantic and see the beauty in everything. Your essence strives to create harmonious connections. You frequently search for love and meaningful partnerships. Your talents are in your charming, idealistic, and artistic personality. You are easy to talk to because... <coughs> excuse me. You listen well and see all sides of a situation. You go out of your way for others and have a very generous heart. When you feel balanced and surrounded by love, you can abundantly attract your desires. Okay, Libra, that's, that's, you, that's, what, that's what all you mean right there. And... I just went to the mailbox, and I'm sorry, Pisces and Virgo, if you watch this Libra reading. I'm sorry. I just got went to the mailbox, and this was my next sign up, and I got them. And I would have done them for them two signs, but I had to go to the mailbox, okay? And then I was like, wait, I love these. I've been waiting for these. Thank you, Spirit. I want to pick one for every time I do somebody's reading. One, two, two. Ooh, Libra, you're a gatekeeper. You navigate the hidden realms and guide others to experience them. Ooh, you're the gatekeeper. Okay, Libri. Oh, that's what you needed to know. You you help you're supposed to help guide others, okay, Libra? That's that's what that's what you're meant to do, okay? Yep, know what you're meant to do when I have you, Libra, and you just want to have someone that's romantic, you know, like you and oh, you wanna be unification, you wanna be unified. You're aligning with abundance when you see on nines. Keep going, Libra. When you see on nines, keep going. Keep going. That's what it means. Don't give up. Oh, wowdy woody. I've been getting out four for every sign. Hang on. Oh, God. You a high priestess? Hang on a minute. This come out for uh, Pisces, I think, or Virgo. Two of them did. Oh, compassion. This is about being unified to align with abundance. You got to align yourself. You got to st stay prayed up. You got to pray a lot to align for that abundance. You're a high priestess. You, 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 know, you know how to expand your consciousness. You know how to expand your mind to uh, aligning with abundance. You can see through a bunch of stuff, you know, because you're like a gatekeeper. You navigate the hidden realms, and you guide others to experience them. You know, that's what high priestess do. Ooh, the generator. You're staying grounded at this moment. Oh, yeah. You're staying grounded. And 11-11, you, compassion. Your higher heart is opening. You're opening your heart to that twin flame. That's what it is. That's what it is now, Libra. You can't lie to me. You can't lie to me, Libra. I know it. You got a twin flame. What else does Libra need to know? Thank you, Spirit. We love you very much. Okay, hang on, you guys. I've been getting out six with these. I think, anyway. That's how I did last time. Balance come out for you, Libra. <laughs> you got to believe. Look, that's one of my, uh, what do they call these rabbits? And they put deer horns on them. I can't remember. Jack rabbit. No, it's something weird. Ain't I can't remember. But that's one of them rabbits. You need to believe that God is aligning it the way it's supposed to. This is about adaption. You're adapting to this situation. You know, you got, you're trying to, you're trying to fit in, like maybe you're adapting to what to this whatever's going on in your life. You're trying to adapt to it. You you've been patient, patience. You've been practicing patience pretty good, and you've been uh, ripping off your disguise or somebody else's disguise. Um, you know, chameleon. That just means you can blend into any environment. You know, and I think that means uh narcissist when I see that disguise. So maybe you had to uh unleash and get all that old narcissist out of your soul. <laughs> but anyway, um provide Taurus. So 
you know, and this disguise, that was Gemini. So Gemini, Libra, and Taurus come out. And this is about you're believing, you got patience that you're going to be provided for. You got to adapt and pull off that disguise that you're wearing to receive balance. Yeah, you got to let your truths out. That's all it means. That's all it means, Libra. You got to let the truths out. That's what it means. And trust me that I had to do this. Trust everybody on this damn planet has to do that. Trust. Trust and I know that what I'm talking about about that right there. Okay. What else for Libra? It's please, Spirit. All right. So here's what it says. You're going to receive a karmic payout. Unexpected flow of abundance. Karmically earned reward. All the hard work and good karma you've put out into the world has not gone unnoticed or forgotten. Be ready to reap big rewards as you are about to receive a huge karmic payout. Congratulations. This is well-deserved. You've been patient waiting on this money. You believed that somebody owed it to you, and you're going to get it because you... It's all right. You're going to get it. Don't worry. So that's You know, you might be going through a, a, a karmic marriage, and you're getting divorced, or you might be getting a karmic payout from a job like they did something fucked up to you or something. Uh, you know, or s somehow you're going to get money by somebody that did you dirty. That's what it means. Don't fight the feeling. Feel the feels. Playing it, co playing it cool. Process your emotions. Express how you feel. Don't restrict yourself from things you that you want and, and love to do. Don't hide your feelings. Act on them. You never know when that chance will no longer be there. You already listening? That chance might not be here when you go to it. Maybe what that was saying, there's been a Taurus that's been believing in you and they've been patiently waiting on you and they're wanting you to adapt and let off that fucking disguise so you can come to them. That's what them black cars just said. Hope that helped you, Libra. Wish upon a star. Ask and you shall receive. Manifest your reality. The universe is your sugar daddy or mama. It, and it is always ready to give you what you wish to bring into existence. But you have to believe. Trust that many strings are being pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Be careful what you wish for, though. Be careful what you wish for, though. Remember what it just said. Be careful what you wish for. So somebody wished for you, too. Somebody wished for you, too, Libra. That's their, that's their hidden truth. They wish for you just the same. That's what it's saying. And I know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, yes, I do. Because I miss. Somebody was trying to sabotage this, this uh, your connection with the divine. Because you've got a lot of ideas and you're very passionate about your creativeness. And somebody was trying to sabotage this. This person was trying to undermine you and, and your um, alchemy and your abilities to manifest. This person was trying to sabotage it. That's why saboteur, child divine, pioneer, light bulb moments, alchemists come out. So, you, you need to remember to not be... To get in that self-destructive mode. Because you do have a special connection with the, with the divine. <laughs> you don't need to undermine others. And you know, I learned this this week. And I know what that's saying to me. And I thank you, God. And I, I, I'm sorry for anybody that I undermine. I'm sorry. And if I said that you did something to me and you didn't, I'm sorry. And God, please forgive me for that. Because I've done that a lot in my life. And I hope these other people can forgive me. But, you know, I, I do have a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. I do have that. 9-11. I've always been like that. I've always been unique and wanted to stand out. And used to, when I when I was going to school, if I wore something cool, then it would get around in the school. That's how it always was. And I'm telling you the truth, people. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth, 929. I already did these cards. Sorry. I already did them cards. I needed to get these cards. Tarot. That was upside down. That one was upside down.
Hang on, let's get up to the money. It kind of light wants to do it. All right, so it's saying five of cups. And that was in the reverse. This is feeling like, uh, feeling like you, like you made a mess of things. You've been feeling like you made a mess of things, Libra. That's why it was in the upside down. Seven of Cups. Uh, this is TV Stevie. TV Stevie. Oh, yeah, on Five of Cups. His name was Toxic Wes and Boney Joni. <laughs> so you felt like you made a mess of, of your whole life. You had a lot of options to choose from. Each seems better than the last. Keep keep your wits about you. It's telling you keep your wits about you, okay? Um, temperance. Balance. More balance, you know. And this is a, a balanced Betty. You know, this is about your equilibrium. Fairness and the distribution of fairness, you know. You're a, uh, you might be a peacemaker, you try to bring peace in people's life. That's what come to light. It come to light. You just like being a peacemaker. And I've always did that. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry I do that. But I, I'm an Aquarius. And I've got a lot of Libra. I mean, I can be honest about that to you, all, Libra. Uh, this is happiness and pure joy. Soak up the, the good vibes. And enjoy this moment, okay? Soaking up the good vibes. You're going to become a success. That's what old uh, Beachy Brian said. Beachy Brian said, you it kind of like you're going to be a joy success. Quit. Quit being up in your fucking head. Nine of Swords. This is a, what's his name? Wormy Shermy. And I, whenever I get new cards like this, you all, sometimes I'll write what it was saying in that deck so people understand this story. Do you understand? All right, you guys. And, and I do that. I don't give a fuck. I, and nobody's going to copy my way because that's how I do it. Uh, fear and worry and anxiety. You got to get out of that. It kind of like that you've been up in your head over a damn person. Like, do, do, do. Or something like options or something all the time. You've been up in your head like, and you, and you got to focus, okay? Don't worry about who's better i don't know i think that you figured out maybe you was just in that damn young energy and you didn't want all these things you just wanted love and a job and you wanted everything else in your cups that's all it is there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that what else oh yeah i gotta do this and give you a little message i gotta hurry up what's what's a good look what's a good look what's a good look what's a good look the evil eye amulet uh, the evil eye amulet, known in Ar Ar Arabic and Nazar, is an ancient good luck charm that has been embedded in Middle Eastern and Indian cultures for thousands of years. The talisman protects the holder from the evil eye, a curse bestowed by a malicious glare by reflecting it back on to the person who cast it, as well as spiritual protection. It also provides good luck. So maybe you gotta quit giving people the evil eye. That's what somebody said now. My eyes might look evil, but I'm I'm looking at a card like you, and I might look in the camera, but y'all got to remember, I'm new, and, and there's a lot of people that I separate myself from, and they watch my fucking channel, so y'all got to remember that. Divine Order got called. You put, uh, you, you, you had to learn to practice patience. I don't know why I picked that up, but you, somebody need to see it. Oh, okay, and then, wait, it throwed out. Four and I'm putting them back. I'm only going to read two to you. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. It's all about divine timing. I love you, God. That's why I pulled out. That, that's, what, what? that's why I pulled that out. So, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light right now. Take and pray right now and say, Angels, please place that beautiful blue twin flame light around me and my partner and place it around my children and my grandchildren if you got them and place it around the people that you love and place it around your home and place it around your vehicles and that's how you stay safe and i do this i do this every day and see this i have an angel 
See how his angel wings comes around? He looks like a heart. I have an angel. My son that died, Alan, and I love him. And I got that angel from his funeral. I mean, it's a girl angel, but I mean, I know I had a son angel, but my aunt got me that. And, and Alan come to me in a dream, you all. Not in a dream, in a vision in my car one day. And a deer hit me. He told me, he said, Pam, wake up. He sat there and talked to me for probably about a minute and a half. And then right at that time, he said, Pam, Pam, pay attention. That's what he said. Pay attention. And boom, a deer hit me in a side door. And I was doing 80 of the four lane. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So they're waiting on you. You're waiting on them. They're your beloved. They love you. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt that God's going to bring it to you in divine timing. And nobody else, they can say this and that, bought a bought and it don't matter. Get that out of your mind. Stop replaying shit over and over in your mind. That's what I'm trying to help you all do. Stop doing that and get you this so it'll ward off uh, people that's giving you the evil eye. Okay, that's what it said. It's good. It said it was a good look. I believed in it. Yeah, it will protect the holder from the evil eye. It will protect you from the evil eye. That's what it said. Okay, so I believe I need to leave this and standing up here all the time like this. <laughs> here, let's leave it standing up right there. See, don't that look good? All right, well, I love you, uh, my Libras, and I hope you liked this reading. If you liked it, please hit subscribe. I love you guys, and come back and join Pound Star Oracle. I love you, pieces. Hit all, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I got a lots of playlists, and I love you guys. Peace.